August Reset episode 18 Thursday the 18th of August still going hasn't missed a beat and uh, oops, sorry guys um, I just got done talking to one of my clients and I was super inspired about the things that he shared with me and I just wanted to quickly touch on that in this video um, He's actually a really cool guy, uh, just, you know, turned 30. And he was mentioning that he felt like he was going through some type of midlife crisis, which is ironic at the age of 30, right? But the funny thing is, from the get-go, I knew immediately what he was talking about, as I also have been feeling like that, especially in the last year. And up until the point where one of my older friends identified it as such, I had no clue that was that was the the case. Like that was the you know like that was what I was experiencing. Like I would never think or conclude. At the age of 34 like hey um, I'm having a midlife crisis but so like she you know made me aware of the fact that this, that this is actually quite common I, I forgot how to speak she made me aware of the fact that this is quite common with um, young people so I did some research on it and it was really interesting and I just wanted to make this video because for sure, there's a bunch of people out there around this age, or, or maybe younger, maybe older, that might be going through that, but, you know, haven't figured out, like, that's what it is. And I think it usually comes down to you being at a certain age and comparing where you're at in life with where you thought you would be when you were at this particular age. And realizing that it's nothing like you imagined or predicted. Like, it's, trust me, I know, I know what it feels like. I remember thinking, like, when I'm 34, 35, I'm gonna be like a proper adult, multiple kids, big house, you know, like, just career, very successful. You know, I never would have thought that my full-time occupation with the YouTube and coaching and I would be renting a flat, you know? Um, but obviously that is, you know, what's taking place and it doesn't mean that that's a bad thing. The point where I'm trying to get at is that it is never, ever too late to change. Like you're never too old, you know, to, to try and, and do something new. I'm actually doing that myself right now, like, I kind of hinted at, you know, at this in, in, in another video, but I'm actually, I'm currently very much in the process of getting into a new career as well, um, which doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing this, it's, it's basically just a matter of purpose, a matter of understanding, like, I still have 20 prime years in terms of energy um, ahead of me. And if I'm, if I'm going to try to get into something new, then now is very much the time. So I just want to kind of make this video to address anyone that is maybe thinking, you know, in their 30s, like, oh, you know, I went down this path, I, I went down, you know, I, I, I built up this career, I made my bed, now I got to lay in it. Not really, like... 30 is a new 20, 40 is a new 30, and 50 is a new 40. That's really how it is, guys. Like, times have changed. So, if this is you that I'm talking about, then please let this be the sign that wakes you up, makes you snap out of it and understand that you can literally still do anything you want to do. Just think about the people that burn out by 35. Like, the people that you think you can never catch up to. I'm sure we all have those friends. I have a couple of those. Um, very successful people on paper, but they already had a, a very, uh, very bad burnout uh, before the age of 35. So imagine like 
if that can happen and then they can go into like a different type of lifestyle where they no longer prioritize career or they're gonna just take it easy and chill and and worry less about working and making money you could also do the reverse like it literally goes both ways it's, it's a two-way street so you can look at it as <laughs> you already had the burnout and now you're ready you know for the actual career part or changing you know if that makes sense like now you really are just as capable or incapable as you convince yourself to be. People vastly overestimate what they can do in a year and they vastly underestimate what you can do in five years. So what I'm saying is start making moves, start planting seeds and start walking in the direction that you want to go into today. Me as well, like, you know, I'm a planner, granted, and I like to make a plan, I like to strategize, I like to really think things through, as you can probably figure by now. But me now making active steps towards changing my career is also something that has been in the making for over a year. Like I really wanted to take my time with it, also with my due to my history and my all the medical stuff, but still, and now I'm ready for it, you know. But you can be here too in, in this position that I'm in in a couple of months. Like you don't need a year, not all like I'm pretty slow with these things. Doesn't mean you have to be. So I needed a year, let's say you need like four months, but start today, start gathering information today, start figuring out the steps. That you need to take today or if you are a person that is hyper dynamic and is super into like taking direct action if you don't need a lot of time to think and strategize like me guess what we've got september coming up in about two weeks in two weeks exactly actually and guess what september is september is literally the month of new beginnings in September, all colleges and stuff started start the new year. In September, all the, the students that graduated start their new career. Like September is the month where companies, universities, colleges, any type of corporation or, or groups or gatherings, like even even sports. If, you, if you've been thinking about joining that sports team or getting into a sport, September is the month to enroll. So you have about 14 days to figure stuff out and make it happen. And I know for a fact that there's a multitude of people watching this video right now that are thinking, Ugh, he's right. So if you're going to do it, might as well do it now. Just try. That's all I ask. I'm not asking you to succeed. I'm not asking you to, to be the most successful at XYZ. I just ask of you to put yourself in a position where you can potentially move forward with your life as I'm also trying to do. We're in this together, hence it being August reset, baby. And that's really it. That's the video, man. I just wanted to share that. Shout out to my client who inspired this video. Um, midlife crisis in your 30s are a real thing, but they don't have to be a bad thing. They can mean a new start a new beginning all right so without further ado let's get it i'll be back tomorrow with episode 19 let's keep this thing going have a beautiful day guys talk to you soon